We opened the new diabetes laboratory in January 2017 and it is arguably the best diabetes laboratory worldwide. So what about this new centre here? Well, the Monash University, through the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Stephen Jane, who's head of the clinical school here, have realised that diabetes is likely, or is already, the biggest epidemic in human history. And with the support of the Jezrati family and the Maidan family, we've been able to develop this excellent translation facility with a terrific research team. What my research has shown is that with diabetes, consuming a processed food diet, there's more protein in the urine, meaning there's more kidney damage. And my research is really looking at ways that we can formulate foods better so that people can still choose the foods that they want to eat, but they'll be much healthier for them. Here in Australia, uh, diabetes is a leading chronic disease problem now being recognised by the federal government and we're delighted that the Minister Greg Hunt will be opening this new facility and we have here something like two million people with diabetes and likely about one and a half million with what we call pre-diabetes, people who may develop diabetes over the next 10 years. In this facility what we've done is we've combined great research teams basic scientists, clinicians, modern researchers to really do what's really an integrated approach studying diabetes from both a very fundamental level right through to the clinical level. You know we scientists uh, we need tools and techniques to prove our hypothesis and advanced equipments are the part of our journey. So why would this new facility give people hope? Well, the team here is arguably the top team in the world addressing the problem of diabetes complications. By targeting these complications and developing new treatments, we can improve the outlook for people with diabetes, better quality of life and a longer life that's healthy.